And we're going to remember him as a young man, bright, full of energy, but that was also loved. An emotional afternoon as fr family and friends remember Jamari Rice. He is the 15 year old shot and killed outside the South Education Center in Richfield last week. Now, Jamari Rice transferred to that school just one day before he was shot and killed. Two teens have been arrested and charged in his death. Paul Bloom joins us now. Paul Rice's father was granted a furlough from jail to be at this funeral. Randy and Amy, of course, Cortez Rice, a familiar name and face in the local activist movement, and no doubt someone who would be right there out in the streets now protesting the Minneapolis police killing of Amir Locke. But he is currently in custody on some probation violations, and he did need judicial approval as well as electronic home monitoring to take part in his own son's funeral today. Time flies as I shed these tears. I wish I could have done more to save you, to protect you, to love you like no other. Cortez Rice, the local street activist, then fighter for social justice, speaking from the heart during an emotional goodbye to his 15-year-old son, Jamari. As I should have always been with you, I will forever miss you. I will forever love you from day to night. Jamari Rice with the electric smile and dreams of a professional football career, killed last week outside his alternative high school program in Richfield. An apparent dispute at the South Education Center escalating into deadly violence. A search warrant in the case suggesting retaliation and potential gang ties as possible motivation behind the shooting. You young people, put the guns down. Put the guns down. Pope Presbyterian Church on Wednesday afternoon was packed with Cortez's fellow activists, extended family, as well as Jamari's friends, teammates, and classmates. And I know. While there was song and prayer and a young life to celebrate and mourn, one message stood out to stop the hate and to end the senseless violence. So I want to admonish you young people, when you leave this room today, I want you to leave with purpose. I want you to leave with hope. And I want you to leave that you keep dreaming, that your dreams are not lost, that in Jamari's memory, that you keep carrying that torch of life to dream and to live. Why? Because you do have a future and you do have a hope. Some powerful messaging there given the two shootings in our community earlier today. Jamari Rice remembered there for his fearless, fearlessness on the football field and his fun loving nature away from the sport. Bishop Richard Howell of Shiloh Ministries in a lighthearted moment during the eulogy suggested Richfield name a street for the young man. So everyone driving down that road is reminded to live life to the fullest, just like Jamari Rice, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.